You'll only be my wife for just a little bit longer. The least you could do is fulfill your conjugal duties one more time. You What's the matter with you? What's the matter? I made the biggest mistake of my life with you. And I want it to be over. Get the annulment papers here now. <laughs> but I... No buts. Okay, you promised me that Ethan wouldn't find out about this. Well, he won't. He can't. I mean, God knows what would happen to me if he or your brother... God forbid Rebecca knew we were married. I want this annulment as much as you, Teresa. Perhaps more. Oh, that beautiful body, so young and tender. Give your hubby a kiss. Don't you ever touch me, Judy. That's it. I want you out of here. I want you out of my house now. Out! She actually ate it. Oh my God, this can't be happening. Oh, please, please, please tell me you filed a copy with your attorney. There was no time. It was it was so late that that was the only copy. And I just swallowed it, which means there's no proof that I ever signed away anything. Oh. You're all such. Where are you from, Sven? Oh, here and there. Um, in the Midwest, perhaps? No. More south. Keep your hands to yourself, Sven. Ethan, is this true? Are you really helping Rebecca do this horrible thing? Oh, yes, it's true. In fact, Ethan's been brilliant. He has countered every move your sleazy attorney here has made. You're my son's godfather. You promised to protect him. You promised to defend him. You promised to put his best interests in front of your own. Now, how can you help these horrible Jesus, monsters? Listen to me. I'm not going to listen to you. Damn you, Ethan. Damn you to hell. You said you came down here to check on him. <gasps> really, Ethan? Ethan, when is this gonna stop, huh? Gwen, don't jump to conclusions, okay? I went to check in on little Ethan. I didn't know she was here. I don't here. wanna hear it, okay? I, I just, I really can't believe that you were here with her so soon. You're a liar, Ethan. You promised you wouldn't tell. Mr. Crane, I dare to do anything that pleases me. And for some unfathomable reason, you please me, Teresa. When you don't please me, you make me sick. 
These walls here, really thick, really thick, but they're not soundproof, Teresa. I heard every single moment of you making love to Alistair up there. And you know what else I heard? I heard you enjoying it. You were having a good time, Teresa. Oh, God, Alistair, it's so, you're so good. I'm never going to leave you, Alistair. What the hell was that? Huh? I can explain if you like. I don't need you to explain, Teresa, because I'm sorry. I'm seeing you now for the gold digger that Gwen says you are. No, that's, no. Okay, you've got it all wrong. I do? Well, I don't believe you. How about that? Damn you for doubting me. Is that all you got? Wait till you feel the snap of that new whip I have. You I'm pig! Sorry. Leave her alone. Hmm. Now, Teresa. I can't wait to take that white teddy off of you so I can see your young, vibrant body. Wow. You're just delaying me because you're scared to tell Chris that it's over. You know that once I come back with Marty, you're going to realize that you have made a huge mistake. You just don't listen. We are not getting back together. Ever? You told me that you loved me more than you loved Chris. Chris is my husband. You need to accept that. <gasps> Teresa! How can you turn your back on the man that you love? <gasps> you are not getting up to sink you think this is for you. Check it out! <gasps> <gasps> JT, meet me in Ethan's room! Rebecca, and once JT shows Ethan the proof, Gwen will lose too. You come to me and you, and you, you ask me to give up Ethan. I know Gwen is behind this moment. I need you to tell me right now what she said to you. But fine, if you're not going to tell me, Gwen will. Teresa, Teresa, don't! Teresa. Ah! What the hell did you say to my mother? We should count our blessings that there's no deep, dark secret in this family. Okay, I gotta go. I'm on duty. Oh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, my mama. Be cuidado, Okay. Teresa. <laughs> my loving mother. You're doing your best to ruin my life. Well, I'm not gonna have it. Now you stay away from me. 